Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanted to come on here and talk about our first ever state, honey. Yes, this is the first Ratchet Florida story of the year. Ratchet ass Florida! <laughs> Officially in 2016. Kudos to you, bitch. So what's going down, you ask? What's going down is that we have a bunch of damn hood rats, honey, and they done got caught up in an operation sting. So what happened is that these two women, they were the head people charged in this entire sting operation. The sting operation was called Operation Nip and Tuck, and basically Constance uh, Zelius and Shante Campbell and their crew of nine people racked up thousands of dollars in medical procedures. They were getting breast implants, liposuction, fat transfer to their ass, and their teeth fix and everything else on other people's dimes they have literally ruined so many young people's credits down there in their area in Orlando Florida basically using their credits and getting credit cards in their name to pay for their plastic surgery procedure this entire situation is ratchet as hell go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary police say these women stole personal information to pay for tens of thousands of dollars worth of plastic surgery and dental work and even flaunted it on Facebook. Showing their pictures just a few days after their surgery. New at six, why it could take decades for the victims to rebound. Eight women were arrested. Three more are still wanted in connection with that fraud scheme. Orlando police say that women took advantage of the scheme to get everything from breast implants to gold teeth. Channel 9's Jeff Deal found out about this weeks ago and gave investigators time to build their case before breaking this story right now. And Jeff, you found some of the victims were so young they didn't even know that they had a credit history yet. And now their credit is ruined. Detectives here at Orlando Police Headquarters say most of the victims are between 20 and 24 years old, and they started receiving notices in the mail that they owe thousands of dollars in medical bills. Eight women have been arrested. Three others are wanted. This was labeled Operation Nip Tuck. Orlando Police Detective Todd Herb has spent months working to uncover a fraud scheme with a ring of women suspected of using stolen ID information to get cosmetic surgeries and dental work. She just seemed so normal and okay. Like, she didn't seem like she was up to anything. But workers at Paradise Dental eventually figured out Constant Zealous was using someone else's information and contacted police. Herb says on top of the dental work, Zealous also got breast implants using stolen credit. You can see the before picture on the left and after on the right from photos she posted on Facebook. Police say Shante Campbell, shown here, had liposuction. You can see on June 1st, Campbell posted, nervous as heck, but God got me, Lord give me strength. That's the same day investigators say she had her surgery using the stolen information. Constantly, you would see them on Facebook uh, and Instagram and social networks showing their pictures just a few days after their surgery. In all, 16 women are accused of racking up more than $160,000 for procedures. The medical businesses and credit companies are out the money, while the ID theft victims are left with the headache of trying to clean up their credit. To get uh, work done for vanity purposes is you know, is theft, and it's terrible that they did this against these victims. And here's a look at the three people who are wanted right now. These five blank spaces right here are for five other people who could soon be facing charges, including the suspected ringleader. Martha, back to you. And Jeff, how much time could the suspects face? It's going to depend on each suspect and the specific charges they're facing. We did see that one of the suspects was facing six felonies and faces up to 50 years behind bars. Reporting live in Orlando, Jeff Deal, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. All right, so you guys just watched the news clip, and I think my favorite part has to be how this bitch was praying before she went into surgery. How the hell you paying for surgery on somebody else's dime and then in the same breath asking God to have your back and pray that you make it out of surgery safely? What kind of shit is that? If that ain't some ratchet ass shit, I don't know what is. She's posting all this shit on Facebook and on Instagram. You know, like she just has money to do this. This is just insane to me. You know, but it says a lot about the world that we live in nowadays. You know, it really does. And you have women nowadays who are willing to do anything to look a certain way. You have women who are literally, you know, foregoing their regular bills, like their light bills, their gas bill, you, things that they need to sustain them. They're foregoing those bills just to buy hair weaves, just to get their nails done, to make their eyebrows on fleet, make sure their lashes are on point, you know, to get ass implants, breast implants. It's really sad that so many women's self-esteem are so low that they're willing to commit criminal acts to go get plastic surgery now. It's bad enough that a lot of these girls are going to these, you know, quacks and these back alley injection people 
to go get their butts pumped up and a lot of them have died during the procedure now you have women who are willing to get criminal records just to have plastic surgery now these women are looking at 10 felonies and if they get charged they can be looking at upwards of 20 years in prison you know and it makes no sense it's, I hope the breast implants the dental work and the ass injection save you from getting raped and beat by Diablo I am Diablo y'all know what that means it means I'm the devil that's what all my homies call me it's baby devil I walk up in somebody else's hood and just smoke you I don't ever do drive-bys I want to see you die if I ever see y'all again what's my name what's my name girl Diablo. all y'all better know my name because all y'all gonna have to see me and if y'all remember who Diablo is she was from scared straight that bitch scared the hell out of me I would never go to jail honey uh-uh Diablo scared me straight and I'm a grown-ass woman so good luck to them because they're gonna run into a Diablo and I really hope that all those plastic surgery procedures that you guys gank people out of their money and ruined their credit for I really hope that those procedures help you while you're sitting in jail getting your ass whooped you know the whole situation's a hot damn mess and of course it came from our first favorite state wretched ass Florida so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy ass story honey all right deuces hey guys it's your girl t make sure to subscribe like and share my videos you can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise also don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos talk to y'all later deuces